Hey everybody, hey, today we're gonna to be looking at Calendly. It's a software scheduling app. It's something that we use to schedule meetings. Could be for yourself, could be for someone on your team. We're gonna show you how to actually embed this on your website so it makes it super easy for someone to book a meeting with you. There's three ways to actually do the embed. We're gonna show you what we would actually recommend to do, how it works, and then we're also gonna show you some examples of what does not work, what we would not recommend doing. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that. Let's get started right now. All right, so let's get right into actually showing you how you can use Calendly on your website and the three different options that they give you to actually embed this on your site. We're gonna take a look at buildit.media, which is our website, and I wanna show you how we're using this. And this is our Contact Us page, and it's where you can request a consultation. There's a couple different options here. You can, you can submit a form. We also give the option to schedule a 30-minute discovery call. So this is done with a link here. So you can click here, and there's an actual embed code on here that pops this up. And then you can schedule a time. So you can click on a time here, and you can actually go through and select what time works for you and go through the scheduling process. And this is done in the back end of Calendly, and I'll show you how that's done here in just a moment. This is one option of what you can do, and I'm gonna show you three different options of how that actually works. But this is super efficient, so if you're back and forth with meeting times, you're trying to schedule with people, this can simplify the thing. You set the settings of when you're available, and then they can come here and actually schedule, and then it gives you notification, puts it on their calendar, and it sends automatic notifications to you guys to remind you of the meeting. So it's fantastic. Uh, for actually connecting people. You can also send them a link that is directly and they can schedule on your calendar as well. So it doesn't have to just be on your website. I'll show you an example of that here in a minute. So, okay, so this is one usage of this and I'm gonna show you on Calendly site. Now I actually will go back to and I'm gonna show you how to do this on the website. So when we're done here, as we get into this, I'll show, come back and I'll show you how to do that. So on Calendly's, this is what they call their Calendly-embed.com. Uh, URL here. It's what, what they're showing through different options here. So we'll link this in the description so you can go here and you can click on this to see how uh, how this works. But essentially there's an inline embed and this is if you click this see below. So this is going to give you an example of what this looks like. So this is a, would be an exact embed on a page. So they would see this as soon as they go to the page they would see this on that page. So if you had a scheduling page and you wanted that to be right in their face this is going to be there and this is this will optimize for mobile so it's not just on desktop so this is how it would look and then you click on this and then it would give you times available just like we looked at right there so okay that's the first option for an embed so and you want to embed this you don't want them going over to another site so uh, with the link just putting a link there and they click on it so we'll look at an example of that so but this one here is book a demo so this is a pop-up text and this is what we have on our site that you just saw so you're going to click here it shows text right here they're going to click book the de book a demo because this is essentially the text that you would see they're clicking that and then it's going to pop up and then they have the exact option this is exactly what you saw on our build.media site so this is where you get in here and uh, you know select a time and that's that okay so you still stay on the same website that way now the other option is the pop-up widget and you can see that's it's, it's a hovering a button that hovers on the screen on whatever page they're on and you can you can tell it where to live and this is a, a book a tour so you're going to click here and then it's going to pop up here so they're still on your website. So there's three great options here. These are all embed codes, and I'll show you how to get them. And this is how you, and then you would put how to put them in the back end of the site. So this is same thing, availability, click on this, scheduled time, right? So that's that, okay? Now what I wanna show you, if, next thing I wanna show you is I wanna show you this. So this is what, this. if you go into the back end of the, your Calendly, uh, your Calendly account and you're looking at this, this is what you're gonna see. So you end up, ha ha this is where you would make the uh, adjustments to your schedule of your availability, which you'd sync up with the calendar, like a Google Calendar, and you'd make sure that your time is all uh, dialed in is where, when your, your slots for talking people are at. So once that's all set up and you do that through your scheduled settings here and a number of different things here, the timeline, all of that's all done, then you have this that shows you in real time based on what, what you have free and busy on your schedule, what your slots look like. So you can make sure this is correct for, for looking on this end here. And this is on the back end essentially before you send it out to somebody. So then what you would do to actually get these embed codes. So the embed codes just come from here. So you'd hit share. And once you get to share, you're then gonna have your link that uh, this is a copy link here. You could actually copy this link here and then if you just wanted to paste this inside of like an email signature you could put on there book a call with me and you can put in an email signature and then if you come in here you just paste this or send it in an email to somebody 
whatever, like just a one-off thing, you can do that and it'll go directly to this page and it looks like this. Okay, so this is what, this works great if you're not in, on your website and you don't need something embedded on a website and you just wanna send it out. So uh, I would not recommend having a button on your website jumping to this page because now they're off of your website going to this Calendly site and it's like you lose conversions as they go off of your website. So you don't want to do this unless it's something where you're sending it off the website. So it's an like email or it's something where it's uh, you know, some type of communication on social media. They want to jump to that uh, location. So that's, that's what I would recommend for this. Okay. I'm going to show you example of somebody else that has done that on their site here in a second. So uh, jumping back over to this, so what you would do for the embeds on here. So you would now click on add to website. So this is where right here, you're gonna click here, and then it gives you the option for the inline embed. Okay, that's this one, right? The one that lives on a page. Then you have the opportunity to add a pop-up widget. And that's the one that's down below, that, that's this version here that has the hover button down below. Then you have the opportunity to do the pop-up text, and that's what we just looked at that you have. So as an example, we're gonna click the pop-up text. Each, each embed code's gonna be a little bit different, but I'm gonna click on this one. I'm gonna go to continue, and then I have they, they actually give me the code right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna copy this code, and then, or you can click right here, and you can copy the code as well. So just copy the code, and then right from there, all you do is you go back in, like I'm on the back end here, of uh, this is an Elementor site, WordPress site with the Elementor plugin, and this is what this looks like on the back. So you're gonna see a little something different depending on where you would find the widgets that you'd paste in here, but this is an HTML block. Uh, actually, this is a, this has an icon block here with a description in it. So this is, um, this, this one here, where you'd actually take the code, and this is the exact code that I just copied. I'm not gonna paste this in because it has it in here, but this is what is punched in here. And then you, you hit update and you save that, and then that goes in this box. And then that creates what we just saw here where you click this and open it up. So regardless, like if you click one of these other ones, if you wanna go here into, let's say go back, and we check, we wanna do the inline embed, and I go here, I'm gonna get the same amount of code. I can actually customize my button colors in here, what I want those to be and text color, background color. I can hide event type details. I can hide the cookie banner. I'd recommend doing that as long as you have the cookie notifications on your website because that is a, uh, that's, uh, it, it's just another layer. I don't I want to take the time to show it to you right now, but it actually gives them before they actually can schedule. They have to click off another button in order to schedule with you. So you don't really want that. So make sure you, you check that, you know, don't have that on, but make sure you have the correct, uh, I guess, disclaimers on your site for the cookies um, to make sure that that's not an issue. Okay. So I would definitely recommend that. So, okay. So Looking, uh, so this is the, so that was the embed piece of it, all right? So we can do that again. If we go back, we can do the same thing with this pop-up widget. And then you would just go back in here, depending on your layout, you put another block in here. Like if I wanted this to be my calendar over here, I would come in and actually just put a block in here, drop my calendar in here if I had a spot. Um, you know, whatever, if you're using Cadence or you're using Elementor, it's gonna be a little bit different, but just paste that code in there, make sure you have like an HTML block that you put in there and then drop that code inside there. So that's what I would recommend doing. And we're going to jump back over. I want to show you an example of a guy uh, has a website here and he has like a schedule a call button. Okay. So on the schedule a call button, this is just all this is the way that they've done this website. And this is what I'd recommend not doing because you're jumping over out of your website to another website is you're going to be, you, he has just pasted this link right here essentially in this button on the website. And then so what happens is now when I click on this, it opens up that link and you can see it's very similar to the link I just showed you on, on mine and it goes off of his website. So I'm scheduling, which is great, but the conversions go down when that happens. So if I'm jumping off of my site, I would much rather have them on my website and I'd rather have them book directly on my website and then it's just the branding's there, the people are more, they're, they're not as, uh, I guess they, the trust is there, right? So they're on your site, they trust where they're at, but when they jump away, sometimes the conversions go down. So make sure you actually do that on your website. Um, if you're listening to this too on our podcast, make sure you jump over to YouTube and listen to this uh, there because you can actually see me sharing the screen and that'll help you a ton. So as far as getting that. So uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you again in the next video.